Okay, now we're going to convert polar to rectangular coordinates. And this is so easy, you won't even believe it. You, I probably have been making a lot harder than it actually is. What you, you really need to understand is that there are two simple formulas or equations that you are going to use in order to find these. You do not have to go through step by step and reinvent the wheel every single time. We did that the first day, but we don't have to do that anymore. So we can just look at these formulas, x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. If you don't have those in your notes, write them down now. Yes, I'm telling you, it really is this easy. That's all you need to know. So let's look at one example. Convert negative 2 and 45 degrees to rectangular coordinates. Okay, our x is going to be our r cosine theta. Of course, we already know x is cosine. So we have to simply put in negative 2 cosine of 45 degrees, and we will get in our fancy calculators negative 1.41 and if we do y equals r sine theta, negative 2 sine of 45 degrees, we will get a negative 1.41. Now, that simply means that our rectangular coordinates for x, negative 1.41, and for y are negative 1.41. Now, you might want to just take a moment when you're done with these to check your signs by using the coordinate plane. If we are at negative negative 2 and 45 degrees, that means we're at 45 degrees, and we move over to our negative 2, and that is in the third quadrant, which means both of our rectangular coordinates are going to have to be negative. Are these both negative? Yes, they are. Yoo-hoo, we have a winner. So, try another one. Convert negative 3 and 150 degrees to rectangular coordinates. Again, x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, and all we have to do is negative 3 cosine 150, and you should get 2.6. y equals negative 3 sine 150 should give you about negative 1.5. And these little squiggly lines, that's the approximately, because we are rounding. So um, that's a, about negative 1.5. So that's what your coordinates are, 2.6, negative 1.5. Couldn't get any easier than this. So, again, let's just double check our signs. We'll use the coordinate plane. If we are at 150 degrees, that means we're going to come all the way around here to 150. This is going to be 3, so negative 3 is going to be on the other side, which means our x value will be positive, our y will be negative. Is that the case? Yes, positive 2.6, negative 1.5, we have a winner. Your turn. Convert 4 and negative 65 degrees to rectangular coordinates. Pause now. Okay. I hope that you got 1.69 and negative 3.63. Check your signs. If we go to negative 65 and we're at our positive 4 here, do we have a positive and then a negative coordinate? Yes, x is positive, y is negative. We have a winner. I hope this clears some things up for you and makes them a lot simpler.